Hey guys, it's Stacy from My Petite Garden. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today, we're gonna take a look at some plant updates. Um, I personally love seeing before and afters of people's plants. I find it so satisfying to see how their plants have kind of progress throughout time. So I thought it'd be fun to make a video for my plants and see how they've done um, throughout the years for me. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to find some old pictures of the plants that I'm gonna show you guys today. Hopefully from when I first got the plant and then I can show you guys what they look like today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always, thank you so so much for watching and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe and let's get into the video. So the first one here is my philodendron melanochrysum. I got this as a one leaf unrooted cutting from a plant swap um, and here it is today. It took me actually quite a while to root this guy. Um, I tried a couple of different methods that didn't work and finally I was able to root it in moss and now it's living happily in Lekka. Here's my Hoya finlaysonii. I got this as a two-leaf rooted cutting and it stayed this way for quite a while until I put him inside a terrarium. That's when he really started to grow and you see all these new leaves that came right after I put him inside a terrarium. So for the time being, I'm gonna keep him inside a um, high humidity environment. Um, he seems to really like it. Here is my Peperomia Hope. Um, he has grown really well for me and this is probably my favorite Peperomia. Super easy going, not fussy at all and also super adorable. Um, this plant has now reached my uh, work desk so one of the vines actually go all the way down and touches my laptop which is really nice because when I'm working I could still see a part of my Peperomia Hope hanging there. Here is my string of spades. I got this guy early this year and I am actually quite shocked at how fast he grows. Um, I thought the string of hearts grew fast but this string of spades is an even faster grower. So for the impatient gardener or plant enthusiast, this is a very satisfying plant to have because of how fast he grows. A lot of you guys have asked me what's the difference between this and a string of hearts. If you notice the shape of the foliage, it is much pointier and just a little bit elongated. So it looks a little bit more like a spade rather than a heart.
Here is my variegated philodendron burl marks. He was an import from Thailand and did not do well during shipping at all. Um, he had a very difficult time acclimating, lost almost all of his variegated leaves. So at one point I thought I was going to lose the variegation on this plant. But luckily you can see here he actually grew back beautifully. Um, he actually took really well to Lekka and I was so relieved and I'm so happy to see he's doing so great. Next is my Hoya Palinura. I got this four leaf lightly rooted cutting during a time when this plant was still very difficult to find in the US and I paid probably too much money for it. Um, I did struggle a bit with it in the beginning um, because I didn't really know what it wanted um, so it kind of didn't really grow for me but as you can see um, after a while I figured out what it liked. I gave it a little more light and um, spring came around and she started growing. So I can see why people are so crazy about this fishtail hoya. The veining on the leaf is just beautiful um, and it almost seems surreal in a way. So um, I'm kind of trying to decide if I want to keep it long like this or if I want to cut it back and just make it a fuller plant. So I haven't decided yet and uh, we'll see. Here is my Hoya Matilde. This is actually a broken off cutting from one of my larger plants that I ended up rooting and then I potted her up. And now she's grown quite beautifully. Um, if you guys notice, she actually has quite a bit of splash on her. And I'm not sure how and why she got splash because the plant that she originally came from did not have any splash on it. And I'm still actually trying to figure out what causes splash on a Hoya Matilde. Um, if any of you guys know, let me know. Um, I've heard contradicting information, so I'm not too sure. But nonetheless, I'm really happy that she has maintained some sort of splash on her leaves. And I hope she continues to put out some splashy leaves for me. Okay guys, here's another Hoya. This one I'm going to try to pronounce, Hoya chinghunjensis. Um, so this is a small leaf Hoya. Um, I absolutely love this Hoya. The leaf shape, the way it grows is so unique and different than most Hoyas. Um, it's just so beautiful and dainty and a very, very fast grower. So again, if you like fast growing plants, this is one of them. Hoyas are notorious to be slow growers, but this one has been super fast growing for me. And um, if you can see the first picture, you'll notice that it had one kind of medium length vine, and now it has three super long vines. And in the later portion of this clip, you'll see that there's actually a new vine coming out as well so there will be four and I'm very excited about that.
This is my variegated Monstera Standaliana. He looked pretty sad when I first got him because his entire root system was rotted. So I had to restart it all over from scratch. I wasn't sure if he was even going to make it, but he ended up doing fine and he grew pretty well for me. Um, I wasn't sure what to expect from him, but he did give me two pretty variegated leaves with some white on it. One of them started browning a little bit and then it stopped, but that's okay. I kind of expected it. Um, otherwise, he's healthy. Um, he sent out a pretty long runner, so I ended up chopping that. And you could see a new growth point coming out from there. I stuck his runners into water. I don't know what I'm expecting to happen, but I just didn't have the heart to kind of toss it. So um, yeah, we'll see what happens with that. This is my Hoya Compacta Variegata. This is actually my original one that I first got. Um, you'll see here two pictures, one from May and one from June 2019. Um, she was already really beautiful when she was tinier, but as she grew, she looks even better now. This is definitely a slower growing Hoya. Um, it's slow, but for me, it's been consistent growth, so I'm happy about that. And she puts out some really pretty variegation. And um, even the new leaves, they come out pink, which is really pretty to see. Here is one of my variegated syngoniums. The picture you see here is from February of this year. However, I've actually had this plant um, for quite a while now, probably over a year. Um, I ended up splitting the original plant that I got into three separate plants because it did grow pretty large. So this is one third of it. And uh, this plant does grow very fast and the variegation is beautiful so people are really looking for this plant and I can understand why because of that beautiful foliage. I, I think this plant probably has some of the most beautiful variegated leaves out there um, for all you variegated plant lovers. Um, this is definitely one to add to your collection if you haven't already. We're back to another Hoya. This is my Hoya Dekie. Um, he was just a little guy with I think three or four leaves when I first got him and now he's grown a lot. He tends to have little growth spurts and then he'll stop for a little bit and then he'll grow again. So that's just something I've noticed at least for myself growing him. The veining on the sky is really beautiful, so if you are a fan of very veiny Hoyas like myself, this is definitely one to um, try to add to your collection if you haven't already.
Here is my Ripsalis Paradoxa. This was a Ripsalis that I had really wanted to add to my collection and at the time it was very difficult to find. So I was very lucky to be able to find one. Um, now I think it's more readily available. He has grown amazing. Um, his strands are now really long and there's new ones coming up. And the little twisted knots on the foliage is what really attracts me to this plant. So um, he is definitely a very cool looking plant, very easy going, no fuss. So I highly recommend this guy. Alright guys, so these next last two plants will be two Hoyas that I got back in March and I just wanted to show you guys how well it's doing. So this first one is a Hoya fungii or fungii. Um, in the picture you'll see that when I got him he had these two leaves that were growing and now they're full size and he also has another little one coming. So this has been only about a month or so of growth so he's been doing really well Next is the Hoya Revolubilis. Um, this guy reminds me of like a very exaggerated version of the Shepherdii. The leaves are much more succulent and if you can see the new leaf that came out, it is really long and very very succulent like. You can see how much bigger this new leaf is than his older leaves. So. I am actually very intrigued to see what this guy will look like as it continues to grow and has more and more of these kind of very elongated leaves. It should be a very unique Hoya to have in my collection. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And you can find me on Instagram at mypetitegarden. I'll see you in the next video.